Welcome, this is Mrs. Pierce. Today we're going to be doing this one point perspective drawing. To get started, here are the supplies that we're going to need. You're going to need a piece of paper. I'm using watercolor paper, but you can use any kind of white paper. You're also going to need a pencil, a waterproof pen like a Sharpie, a ruler, a paintbrush, and some paints. Before we begin, we're going to talk a little bit about perspective. Perspective is what your eyes can see. Notice in these photos that the objects are big closer to you and as you get to the middle, they get smaller. Vanishing point is that point in the middle where everything seems to get smaller and smaller and maybe even vanish from your sight. First thing we need to do is try and find our, our vanishing point. Now you could just draw a dot in the center, but we're going to go from corner to corner and corner to corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw from one corner to the next and then the other corner. And in the very center, we'll find our vanishing point. So I'm going to do this with a ruler. And we're going to go ahead and stick it on our paper corner to corner. Now it doesn't fit. so. We're going to just slide it from one corner to the next and just try and get an approximate. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to draw up the ruler about halfway. And then we're going to slide it to the other corner and finish it out. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other side. There we go. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're going to come from the top corner and to the middle and then slide our ruler down and finish it off. Now we've got our vanishing point right in the middle. And now we're going to go ahead and start our drawings. The objects we draw that are closer to us on the outside edge are going to be bigger. And as we go into the middle, they're going to get smaller. Now on the right hand side, we're going to be drawing some vertical lines. We're going to draw five vertical lines in this triangle here. So we need our ruler first, and we're going to make them about an inch apart. Your thumb from your knuckle to the tip of your finger, or you can just wing it and make your five lines vertical from the top line down to the bottom. Now, please don't make it this dark. I'm just doing this so that you can see it. All right, now that we've got our five lines, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the lines at the top. The lines at the top are gonna be horizontal and we're gonna go to the second line in and we're gonna go from the corner there to the other side and we're gonna use our ruler. So we're gonna make that horizontal line now. And then again, we're gonna do it two in. We're gonna go two in from that. So let's see, one, two. And then we're going to draw that horizontal line right there. All right. And we've got that done. And now we're going to go ahead and do that horizontal line. We're going to bring it down to the bottom so that we can get these buildings down. So right there. And again, right there. So from corner to corner and line to line, we're going to draw that here. And they're going to move that up and do it again. Now I have a little bit of space in the middle and I'm going to put that another one right there. You could go ahead and those buildings there and you could put windows, doors, whatever you want in there. Okay. Now you take your eraser 
and I'm going to erase right there in between where those triangles are. A little teeny tiny bit in the middle. And there you have your buildings. Like I said, you can go ahead and put windows and everything. We're leaving the one at the bottom because we're going to be drawing uh, sidewalks that go from the center. And then bring your ruler from the other side. Make another dot. And then we're going to go from the center to those dots to make our sidewalks. the one and then we're gonna do the other one and once you get these done you've got your sidewalks and your roadway so on your sidewalks you want the lines going up your sidewalks to be horizontal again and in the middle we're gonna do the lines that go like the yellow lines that go up your road and you want them to get smaller as you go up and I'm going to go ahead and make those. And, you know, like I said, there should be smaller and narrower as you go up. So go ahead and do that right now. Now, I've seen other kids do um, like a canal, so a waterway in the middle. Really, it's your imagination whatever you want to be in the middle of your street. Maybe it's a path, a dirt path, or um, grass. It's up to you. All right, those horizontal lines on the sidewalk are gonna get smaller and closer together, but, you know, just wing it. I usually use my ruler, and then as I go up, I just switch, but next line. Okay. And just keep doing this all the way up. Now, if you make a mistake or something like that, don't forget you got your eraser there, and you can use that to erase anything. Just keep going and we'll erase it later. There we go. I'll just erase it now. It's a little too close together at the top there. Not a big deal. Mistakes happen. So there we go. I'll just use that as a guide and do the other side now. And finish up closer and closer together. in the center of your paper, which is your vanishing point. Now we're going to go ahead and start at the other side, and I'm just going to work my way up until I can get up to the top there. So following the lines on the other side, just keep going up. up. 
there we go. Fill in any little bits at the teeny tiny ends there at the vanishing point. So we got that in there. Your sidewalk is all in there. There we go. a little bit here and there. So we're going to tackle the um, trees on the other side and you want them to go in that whole triangle so we're just going to draw some trunks. Just freehand them in there. Maybe a few branches on them. Branching up like a V almost. And then just some fluffy cloud shapes down. It kind of makes the top of your tree. And we're going to just do the same thing. And the, the trunks are going to get smaller and smaller as we go. So there we go. We got another one. And then we're going to do another. And you can see he's still doing the V. Still doing the tops of the trees, just smaller and smaller as we go down until you vanish. Now, this is the most of it, and with that line that came down, now we're gonna just kind of erase it in between the trees, and then we'll touch up anything that we've erased that we didn't want to erase. go and I think that now we're just gonna go ahead and draw a Sun maybe you don't have to put one there but I'm gonna do a Sun and just wing it not perfect but you know there we go you could do some clouds also and the Sun's a little crooked but do the best we can there Erase any lines you don't like. And then we're gonna go ahead and do some clouds. So I'm gonna just put one here on the right and then maybe another one on the top there. And there you've got your finished drawing. Now that we have our finished drawing, we're gonna go ahead and outline it. Um, first erase anything that you don't like in there and then we're gonna outline it with our Sharpie now the next part with the outlining and the watercolor I'm gonna do that in fast forward now you don't have to do watercolor you can do it in crayon or uh, colored pencil or markers but I'm gonna go ahead and get to the fast forward <laughs> 